everybody, I'm Roland from Never Code Alone, and I want to show you some shortcuts and some best practice about my tool handling on Terminal and on PHP Storm. So um, basically, I'm a um, freelancer, and I work on a lot of projects, and I have a big folder structure under um, under my development folder, there are trainings, there are clients, there are some projects, there are playgrounds and many things. And also, there's something when I start working on something, I make the most of things in the terminal. Who of you are using a terminal? So are you already using oh my ZSH as terminal? It's something like PowerShell? No, it's a Ubuntu inside uh, Windows. Okay, and you already have plugins there? Plugins? For what? Plugins is uh, magic for the fun. <laughs> <laughs> like Chuck. Yeah, fun enough, but not good for like Chuck How, then you have a Chuck Norris quote. <laughs> this is funny stuff. Not everything makes uh, sense. Maybe I set this to a um, light um, theme. Let me see. Now I think you can read it better. Is it okay for you? So, um, I'm here now on my, on my home folder and uh, normally I do every stuff on development. And here we will do something. Now we will check out. So I have here an L. I don't need the ls minus la command. I have very much aliases to improve my work. And L is something like this. And um, now I have here something like, yeah, many projects like Ionic, uh, clients, some Laravel playground, some playground, the playground with a, with a Kali um, security machine, Python. And maybe we can say that, that this, what is here now, is something like an, um, like an Schulung. And now when we uh, start some project, I make something like make directory. Mm, what, what was this? It's a, it's a make directory. It's a, it's a mkdir command minus p that it makes also the subfolders directly. When you make, um, oh, I have to bring this up. Wait a second, so we can see it better. How is it using here? Why it's not catching? Okay, is it okay for you? Can you see it? So now I'm here on the um, on the directory Schulung, and I want to do something like um, typo three camp um, Rhein Ruhr slash shortcut. Okay. So I'm making directory typo three camp Rhein Ruhr slash shortcut. And then I can change to there. there I have a typo three. And the shortcuts directory. And now I'm here on this really deep path somewhere in my system. And when I come back on another day, 
after a great whiskey tasting or whatever, I start on my home directory and I think, hey, somewhere I put the Typo 3 thing, but I don't know where it is on my development structure. So I can do Z, this is a plugin, um, and say short cut. And then it directly jumped to this, to this directory. Okay, I wasn't in my, on my home folder. So when I do here and that shortcut, I jump to this point. And this is super good. And when you one time when you have it, you will ever, you will never miss this tool. And when you are a bit, so maybe you have something like, um, always type of three projects and you have a client like uh, um, Unperfect House and you can prefix your, then you can prefix your folder with UPH underscore type of three or something like this and you have, have a prefix that you don't have every time the same uh, project name. You understand the meaning? And this is a very, very good um, tool. <coughs> also, there is something like uh, I don't know exactly the name now. What what was the name of my my CMS project? So this is now an actual project where we look, where we will look at, and it also shows me directly the um, Git status. On this Git status, it's um, it's not green, so we have some uncommitted changes. When we will see on the Git status, we will see okay, there's something new. On the services, under the services, there uh, will be a new file, and I don't know what file it actually is, and there is some um, change on the test unit suite, YAML. And now you all know that you can make a git diff to see what, uh, what happens here, but sometimes also it only shows, uh, shows me that there is some change on this unit suite YAML file that there is removed one line, okay? And I don't know if you know the tool tick. It's a um, reverse of Git. It's an official Git uh, tool when you say tick. You have here it's not the most important thing what happened. Normally, you also see the, the trees here, but on, on this small project, there are not so many trees. I see on what, on what actual state uh, I am, on what, um, um, on what tree I am working, and here I see my unstaged changes. And I just can press Enter. And now I also see that there is a, um, the mockery part removed, yes? This is a super powerful tool because you can move here and also check everything what happened. This is an official Linux um, tool image and when you ask uh, some of your admin and uh, DevOps guys to install this on any server, they will do it. And you will also have it on remote machines when you want it. And this makes a lot of sense. Is this, uh, is this okay for you? Okay, so what is also good here as a tool? 
I have a lot of commands that I every time are using, and I make a lot of uh, I make a lot of with testing, and I have here some auto completion. You see, when I press uh, when I start vendor writing vendor, I have an auto completion bin code set run. Okay, and now I can say okay, I um, just want to go to here, and then when I pr just press the spacebar, it's the auto-completion also tries to give me the last commands that I used in this context to this vendor bin code set run command. Yes, it's not the last commands that I use, and I know, ah, unit test, this was not that I um, work with unit tests, I work with acceptance tests. And then I can say, OK, I also want only to go to here, the minus minus steps forward to here, and not to the rest of the line. Then I can jump with Command F. I can jump in segments. And this is very powerful. And this um, makes a, brings you a lot of improvement to your daily business. Do we have questions on this thing? Yes? Is the auto completion, is that a, a plugin or is it? I will show you later the, um, the, uh, my, my, my plugin setup and how you, uh, um, yes, this uh, auto completion is a an, is an plugin. Okay. Normally, all, um, yeah, uh, all my setters hard can do a bit of uh, things. I'm not sure if you are more focused on uh, terminal things or more focused on PHP Storm um, things. That, so um, in, in what um, topic we go deeper. But for the no moment, this is an auto-completion, and auto-completion is super useful. And now you see that I have here something with acceptance. And I also can make something like acceptance and make arrow up to give me the last commands of this, um, of this command where it is used. So when I press arrow up here now, there's another project, but there was the acceptance inside. And when I go up, up, every time I have the commands here, where acceptance was used. And this is very good because, yes, sure, I always run something with acceptance, but normally it's only this project here where I need something like the codeception.yaml file. So this is not normal that I, that I, um, that I use a special co configuration. This is not my normal uh, behavior of my applications. So I also can say dot YAML, and go up and have directly this command. And this is very good because there are many com uh, commands that I, um, that I don't have already in my head, like the, um, like the, the requirements uh, command of uh, Composer, npm install. Uh, I don't know where it is now, so that you have no dependencies or, or something like this. So when you have a command, you, you already know only a part of this command, you can just uh, do this. This is very helpful. Also, now I'm here on this folder, NCA, and um, so development NCA, NCA uh, Sulu, and maybe I want to go to here to development, so I want to go two folders up. This is double point for one folder up, and when I type a third point, I move two folders up. Each dot after the, the first double dot is each dot one folder up. This is also very helpful to move fast. Okay, is there anything else what I use normally?
So you have here something like um, uh, set presentations. Don't never call it alone the E, so um, yeah, it's not injected so far. I um, deleted my, my, my dot .z file <laughs> because it was too full. Um, so I have to move here. Development. Hi, where are I? So here are the, the presentations, and I have here some uh, little Oh My Set oh presentation. It's already online on presentations.entwicklungshilfe.nrw. And there is also a command, Google Chrome. So Google minus Chrome, what I already do not have every time in my head. And um, say here, OK. You see, all my set aside. I already used it in in the past, so we have it. And this is really fast to do to do things. So just two, three uh, key strikes, and I'm on target. So all my set aside. You can uh, install it like this. This is a uh, Mac installation. I'm already working on Fedora Linux now. Who's who already is uh, working from you with Mac? systems and the rest on Windows? Linux, OK. Um, so I'm also working on, on Linux here. And you can un also install it on Windows. There are uh, very good tutorials. You have to install the uh, Solarized theme. This is a power font. When you see this little icon here, Here, this little icons. This comes from a power font, and also the the uh, triangle. And then you have to set with uh, here. I'm using terminal. Also on Mac is uh, uh, iTerm, something like this. But but there there will something um, some terminal that you use on your basic system, and there you have to make some um, color settings. You can also install Fortune to have the Chuck plugin, what is very funny. The Fortune is a, a library of quotes. And then you have the Scouse. And uh, yeah, that, that's it. And then you have this uh, dot um, ZSHRC file. And when you go to GIST. Never code alone. Here is a GIST repo. And there you all will have all my dot files. And there is a dot ZSR file. And the only thing I have done is to set this uh, theme to Agnoster. This is a color, color font, what is using there. There are many, many other themes. Then you have to install. Before you need to install, you run this command to um, have the syntax highlighting and uh, the auto su suggestion. And when you have installed this, you can say, OK, uh, I move the. Um, Command F file to jump on the segments on the auto suggestion file. And here, and here are the, um, the uh, um, plugins that I use. So I just will show you some um, two things. It's Jira and Extract. So with VI mode, you have Vim on this command line. So you, I just can uh, do an escape and make with a B with a B uh, key, I can go backward, and I can all all my magic Vim stuff I can use there. 
and uh, yeah, the rest is not this um, this stuff. So maybe everybody with you is working with Jira, yes? Nobody's working with Jira. So you have Jira, and then you know then you know a ticket um, a ticket number, okay? And when I enter it, this will uh, open my Java on this ticket number. This is super fast for me. And you also can use a parameter uh, minus m, then you directly jump to the command section, so to the com commentary section on Jira. This is very good. And there is also um, an extract um, command when I'm here on my development, uh, when I'm here on my Downloads. I think maybe there is something. Yes, something like this. We transfer stuff. So when you have zip tar, tar zip tar git set and all the stuff of uh, um, compressing files, and you want to unpack this, I just can use extract, and then we have this we transfer. You also have here now a uh, tab completion, and I can use this tab completion just with the error command to go here. When, when there are much more things, I also can go with the arrow down. This is super powerful. And then I can say, OK, extract these things. It's 1.5 gigabyte file, what we uh, have here now. But it just uh, extracts you everything you need. This is very good. OK. Is there other stuff here? So I have, these are useful al aliases. Every time there are aliases for the CD command, you see this make directory minus p command, what is now md, just an md. I have a lot of git stuff here. And I, yeah, this is in some other plugin. Also, when you are using um, a Mac, you can just um, go. As a, so when you when you are here on a <coughs> on an um, on a directory, you just can say cd finder, and then it opens this directory directly in the finder. This is super powerful for Mac users. Okay, yeah, so <clears throat> now we will see something on PHP Slum. So any questions for this terminal? Use it, it's so powerful. Plugins are so, so, uh, so funny and it brings you a lot of... So JetBrains has a toolbox. I don't know if you, on every, every time they have a toolbox. And this toolbox is super good because you just can install here everything on your, um, from the IntelliJ. And when you have here some, like I'm, I'm super early bird version, it's the ERP, uh, EHP version, and there is a possible to roll back. This is powerful. I don't e even need it, but uh, um, some developers told me, hey, when you are on presentation and have the news <laughs> update and sometimes something happens, or when you have a training somewhere and you need to roll back, this is good. Um, and here also I have my, my, my project overview, and I can just say, okay, give me, give me the um, uh, project that we all actually want to look at. There are other um, command line runner that you can just uh, open PHP Storm from the command line where you are, but um, this, is, this is very helpful. Okay, so are you using live templates for PHP Storm so far? Your custom live templates? Two of you are using it. So I have here templates. 
configuration templates pages so this is an um, this is here some um, content management system this is called Sulu Sulu is a super super good um, symphony content management <laughs> system it's not type of three but you will have we we have similar problems. I do a configuration for backend, and I have here some uh, configuration for a uh, conference page. And then on this conference page, there are properties like the speaker item Twitter URL. Yes, you can believe what what has happened. So so I can enter a Twitter URL on backend. And now he has here something like GitHub. LinkedIn and whatever you need on this. These are properly URLs here. And uh, maybe I want to enter a new URL here. So the thing is, I would do something like this. I would mark this, I would uh, duplicate this, and then I will do something like, you know, the, the selecting up command. This is, I think, on, on Mac, it's uh, so on, um, on Linux is um, control V and W, W, sorry, this was my English. <laughs> um, and then it, it every time select more. Yes, you understand this? It always selects uh, the next node. The next node, yes. You have the tag, it selects the, for example, the title tag, then you press it again and it selects the meta tag, then the property, and then yes. the Yes, yes, yes. But here, m many people are every time going like this to mark this and then they remove it and just, just make it, but just make it like this. Yeah. So. It, yeah, double click is when you are m using the mouse, and uh, when you're a good developer, you don't need mouse. Sure, you can you can also do this on double click, and then I will do so. And when I want to ha add here um, ten things more, then I uh, make this here, and then I go here, enter, enter, and say, okay, now here it's it is uh, you. YouTube URL, and I have to write here YouTube URL. And this is a very long way to do things. So I can just do a live template. So I have here my, my, um, whoopala. Where do I walk to? My LinkedIn URL, and I want to use this um, more often. Then I say shift, shift. Hello, hello, Moto. Everything is live here. Um, live templates. When I scroll down, I have here some safe as live template. And then I have now this um, very nice window here. It's not going bigger. So I have now here some uh, something. This this is for the uh, trick. This is a trick variable for the front end that I have later. This is explained to the user on the back end. So I can say here dollar trick dollar, and I can say here dollar title dollar. And I say when I'm finished with this, w with my um, with my inserts, I want to go here dollar end. And now I say this is um, Sulu 
minus URL template demo for camp run rule. And I say here what will be what I will have as auto completion. I say typo three camp run rule minus sulu minus URL. And then I say apply or just okay. And now I have here on control J typo three camp run rule. You also prefix the stuff. I have super much stuff with Zulu. I have super much stuff with uh, with, with some kind of epic, uh, configuration. Codeception is every time a CC or, or something like this. Maybe you have typo script or whatever you need, and then make something uh, clear. What what is uh, what are you using? And make a good di description. And when you have this on your, here will also be all those commands. And now I can say, okay, I want this. Then it makes here the uh, static things from the uh, template and say, okay, please enter your variable name like YouTube URL. And then I press enter and I'm on the title section. And then I press enter and be on end. Okay. And so far I have here a lot of Sulu stuff. I have a property bio, I have image, page selection. So when I have complex things, page selection, and I say here um, your sub. Pages. It's every time the same. Um, I just I just have some type here. This is a different. The the type is a different, and uh, I just have a uh, variable name for my front end trick template and some description for the user. So when I want to have a headline or a text. I check Sulu text. Then I just have here some property text and I say, okay, please enter your name and uh, make here name. Just in dollar, just dollar uh, name and dollar behind. Live templates. We have here all live templates. These are my live templates because I love it. I love this this shit. I have here some um, some uh, very big big configurations. Yes, I have here something like this. Um, when you see, I have a conception basic uh, configuration. This is uh, something like this, yes. And I just uh, do here some, I, it knows what kind of file it is. It's YAML file, so it gives me just the YAML files here. And I can say, okay, I need this uh, configuration for my whole codeception testing uh, framework. And I say, okay, here, I give him a namespace. This is NCA, and that's it. And now I have this configuration. This is super powerful, yes? Copy-paste is evil, and you get a lot of, lot of uh, horror things when you are working with copy-paste and replace everything because you every time forget something or it's horrible, yes? And with this, you can uh, go super fast on, on things. I would do this with PHP Storm. So I can show you what I um, what I do. It's not the complex things that I use. I also have here something like
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will show you. Here, check, check this. I have some uh, scroll to and click. This is a, a useful command for my front end test. Scroll to somewhere and click something. I need this very often. And then I have dollar $i scroll to element, and I dollar $click uh, this element. And when, when it's called, when, when, when you have the same variable name here, I will open a test here. Just a second. So maybe I have something here. So you also see this dollar selector figure is in variable here, three lines above. You see this? I have something to scroll. He, he already will find it when it's, uh, it's somewhere. Scroll and click. And now I can do dollar selector. I have this same auto completion from PHP Storm. I can say, OK, give me this variable. And it's on both positions here. OK. I, I don't have this problem so far, I cannot say. So for example, we, we build uh, the inject method for x space or something. Yeah, 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 sure. So we I need the variable first with the lowercase character and for the method name with the uppercase. I don't know mm -hmm. uh, if this will work. Write the guys on um, uh, on uh, PHP Storm and on JetBrains. They have a super good forum. Yep. They are answering many things, and uh, they al also vote for this when uh, some... Yeah, this is also an open source community. Uh, use this uh, chances. So, live templates. <coughs> Here... Could be because every every uh, here is also every live template from PHP Storm, and you can say m maybe something like they have um, sometimes they have ideas to do things. You can uh, get some inspiration here to how to handle it. But the most important thing is that you. Um, ah, yeah, there was a few more shortcuts that I want to show you. Is the uh, um, the other thing, what, 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 what is important for me is the last thing that I can show you is a multi-cursor. Are you using multi-cursor? Uh, but, but I have a problem. Um, on my Linux machine, it works not single to uh, uh, the Windows one uh, of my colleagues. So um, uh, I'm able to uh, make a multi-cursor uh, for different lines by using the mouse, but I, I can't. Mm, I don't know what, what exactly the meaning is now. Uh, so um, <coughs> I just want to show multicursor. I select something like this here. And then I uh, press, <coughs> it's Alt, Alt J, I think. And now I've selected two times, and I, all, I have here some multicursor. And maybe it could be that I am here and want to make an dot min dot min before the CSS. Maybe this is a problem for me. So I just can move with the whoopala. Why isn't it? Uh, why can I move today? <coughs> so I can move with a with a uh, um, control right, 
Then it jumps every time one word worldwide. So after this here, both cursors will jump before the dot. And now I can enter here in dot min. And when I want to add something here, maybe it's well and then you have some, some properties here, I just can say go to the end, go one back and can maybe add some property here. So this is um, very often when you get your template from ThemeForest or whatever, and you need to replace passes for um, style sheets and also for the JavaScript on button. This is super uh, useful to use multicursor. Okay, I'm think I think we are through it. Do we have any questions so far? Could I give you some new knowledge? Do you see any? <coughs> Yeah, this is no problem, but for many people, live templates, they never see that they're using live templates every day. Uh, it's a whole auto-completion of PHP Storm, are live templates, and they don't know that they can use it by their own. Yeah, I have something like... Um, Vardamp. So Vardamp is for me uh, sometimes important when I cannot use Xdebug or, or anything. So I have Vardamp, my file. Sometimes you don't know where the, where the Vardamp is. That's yeah, because you, so I n always need the file name when I Vardamp something and uh, then here I can just say, give me the dollar i here and I have an exit. This is sometimes I need. Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm never caught alone here, and I have some s funny, um, funny stuff. I just will show you some. So on YouTube, I have some very funny videos and um, also some tutorials. Please check this out, like this stuff. <coughs> on Twitter, I have useful links for uh, developers that I use in my daily business. On Facebook at 12.15 uh, every lunchtime, there's a super funny pic for your lunchtime. And on Instagram, I have a diary. Please follow me on this uh, different channels. And yeah, massive thank you for your audience and uh, to be here. <laughs>